Hey, it's Jay, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Oh, not beautiful today? Yeah, and awesome? No, you don't want my day to be beautiful, Jay? You just want it to be on- Yes, uh, alright, fine. I hope you're having a beautiful day. <laughs> so, last episode, um, we went on Ash Twin, and we were checking out the different warp towers, and, um, yeah, there's one last warp tower that I, I want to check out and see, like, what's up with that. But first, we have to wait for the sand to die down. So, while we wait for the sand to die down, what I'm going to do is, first off, let's turn around so we can see everything. Alright, there's the sun, there's all the planets. Okay, so, uh, the comments, I've been getting people asking, hey, what happens if you just go really far away? Like, really far away. Like, out of the solar system far away. I'm kind of curious what happens, too. So, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to just keep on zooming backwards, and we're going to see how far away we could possibly get from the sun. There, we'll lock onto the sun so we could really see uh, what's going on with it. Look at this. Oh, uh, that's cool. I mean, the sun is decreasing our speed, but, you know. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at all the planets. And then we're going to do something really, really cool. Once we're, um, I was told once you're 100 kilometers away is, whoa, oh, the sun just decided to disappear. That's not how light works, but okay. Yeah, somebody told me once we're about 100 kilometers away, uh, we take out the signal scope. And uh, I know it looks boring right now. Please bear with me. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, oh. Pick up all travelers' instruments simultaneously. Yep, and do this. Oh. You can hear them all at once. Oh my god, that's awesome. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. Also, by the way, we're speeding. We're, we're going too fast now. We're, we're going back towards the solar system. I'm boosting forward. If you if you see, I'm boosting forward. And while we're boosting forward, we get to listen to everybody. Do 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 do. Da, da, da. Actually, we'll engage autopilot. And right now, we are boosting forward, so... I, if I get out of the ship, I'm pretty sure I'll be lost to space forever. While autopilot is engaging, let's take a look at our ship log. Uh, we have a lot of stuff. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that little... All of them playing together, because that's so cool. Oh, uh, uh, that, That's so cool, all of them playing as a group. Lake Fed Cave, Quantum Caves, Ash Twin Towers, Sun Station, Sunless City. Okay, so. From what it looks like, right, is all of these trees are connected to this big thing, the Orbital Probe Cannon. And I think the Orbital Probe Cannon has something big about it that they all connected to. So, Orbital Probe Cannon, right, um... I don't see how Feldspar's camp relates to the Orbital Probe Cannon, though. Um, frozen Jellyfish. Oh, because that's how you get down to it. That And Feldspar tells you how to get down. Okay. Um, Bramble Island. Alright, and that leads you to Feldspar. And then there's the Ocean Depths. Okay. So, the big one of the big plot points, Orbital Probe Cannon. And I think we found out... I think uh, maybe it was the location of the Eye of the Universe. The coordinates. I think that was the big part about that. Because we had to go through so much bullshit just to get down to it. So, now, there's two there's two other big things. There's the Ash Twin Project. Every memory recorded by the Nomai statues transmitted to a corresponding storage unit with an Ash Twin. Oh, oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, look, we're back. Look at that. We're back in the solar system. Okay. Let's uh, review just a little bit more. And then the next big thing is the Quantum Moon. I was able to land on the surface of the quantum moon. I found a dead Nomai and a spacesuit near the South Pole. Okay, so, uh, quantum moon and Ash Twin Project. So we should probably do things that are focused around those two. Right? Right? I would think so. Alright, and speaking of Ash Twin, let's go to Ash Twin and check out that last thing. 
The Ash Twin Project. Yeah, because I haven't seen anything on Ash Twin that looks like a project, if that makes sense. I know it's not like... No, Jade, it's not an actual project. Or, or maybe maybe not. I don't know. But I haven't, I haven't seen anything that... Like a building or a structure. Because I, I think I explored all the things, right? I'm pretty sure I explored all the things. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. Alright, and we didn't crash into the sun so that it's always a good day when you don't crash into the sun all right i think autopilot that's the closest it's probably going to take us okay so now shit it doesn't look like the towers are uncovered yet uh well oh oh sh no they're about to be they're about to be okay all right um god where should i park my ship so it doesn't get, you know, diddled. Alright, how about we just go all the way, all the way over here. Let's go underneath this part of the bridge with our ship. So then it doesn't, well, no, this part's going to be completely exposed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just park to the side. Yeah, if we park to the side, the, the thing's not going to get to us. Okay. Spacesuit on. Boom. Health, fuel, full. Alright, let's go over here. Light. Okay, so, oh, uh, don't crash. Uh, all right, wasn't that bad. Um, let's go down for one. It looks like we can't get to it yet. The sand. Oh, look, you can see the sand going down. It's going down at a pretty fast rate, but it is a lot of sand. It is a lot of sand. So, was it this tower or was it the other one? can't get into either one yet oh there we go okay um yeah this one was the one with the wall that's the one that takes us to ember twin so and like if each tower represents a planet right because all the other ones took us to different planets then i can only assume that this one would there is no warp tower on ash twin right You know, if the top is broken off, am I going to get sucked in when, when I try to go? How about, I, I'm going to boost down when I try to go in. Okay. It should be good now. Where are we? It says we're still on Ash Twin, guys. It says we're still on Ash Twin. But we're in the planet. Okay. This is some fucking trippy shit. Oh my god. Alright. And I oh yeah, these are all these are where all the things are stored, the masks. Okay. Um eight minutes twenty-eight seconds ago. Received data from previous cycles. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module, Giant's Deep memory statue, and Timber Earth. So the Giant's Deep is Gabbro, and the probe tracking module, and then me. Okay. 14 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Okay. Um, oh, there's a broken mask here. These masks look really creepy, but yeah, I guess that's what the projection pool was. How it was, uh, yeah, having all these things. They looked creepy, though. A lot more creepy, like, when they're not in person. Oh my god, so much reading we just- we're gonna have to do. Okay. Alright, let's get to it then. Yaro. Today we finish the excavation of Ash Twin. Here, in this space we ca carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished, uh, re- reallocating all subterranean- plants we met while digging we will need to keep our eyes significantly on how we in altered the environment here oh they care about the environment uh, how far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab i can still hardly uh, believe rami's hypothesis was true I, I should go to the high energy lab after this um poke just sent the warp core uh for the final tower to us using the black hole forge now ash twin can be connected with giants deep where Kasava is working with Avans to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phylox is, uh, is sculpting the memory statues. 
hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores could have been uh, forged faster if Casabo had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is that we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and that I'm no longer needed for meditating on your disagreements. Or mediating. Uh, our friends on Giant's Deep Test of the Orbital Probe Cannon today. Mal tells me that the cannon is doing well, and that Avans uh, advocates for, Mac for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maxim a maximum power from a device, Avans can. But then, if anyone can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Avans. Well, fucking Avans blew up the cannon, so he's not wrong. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew uh, in the interest of my safety. <laughs> Would it help to remind Avans that Mallow, his love, would will be the one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Or is Mallow part of the problem? <laughs> Flox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Okay. Wait, so, hold on. When the in the event that the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate. So the statues did activate. They activated for uh, me and Gabro, and along with the probe cannon as well. And oh, so they were trying to find the Eye of the Universe. Wait. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm, th oh, I'm, oh, the gears are clicking, oh, the gears are ticking, okay, hold on, I'm gonna read through the rest of this before my thoughts, um, Pi and I uh, Aida have worked very hard on the sun station, and at last it is complete, if everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the sun's explosion, which will, in turn, power the ash, uh, it, it will supply the power the ash twin project requires, so, in order for the ash twin project to work, the sun has to fucking explode, I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. We're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here's what will happen. First, the sun station will receive the order to fire at the sun, prompting it to explode. <laughs> Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the sun station will again trigger the supernova and launch the probe data from this cannon to launch back in time. In total, the cycle created by the Ashwin project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate the power of that magnitude. The supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we could still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier expressed than accomplished. <laughs> that's such a sign, that's like such an extra way of saying that's easier said than done. <laughs> you can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer I, I idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Okay. Yaro. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for the moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we are anxious to explore it. It has been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited and welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge uh, might be contained there. Wow. Wow, like, uh, you have to give the Nomai some credit. The Nomai are fucking big brain. Like, so they created this thing to send memories back in time and data, information, not even memories, just information back in time so they could try to find something called the Eye of the Universe. But the real question is, why did they try to find the Eye of the Universe? Like, what? what's the big deal about the Eye of the Universe? Like that they were prompted to try to blow up the sun for the eye of the universe. This is fucking crazy. Okay, um, is this new stuff? This is an Ash Twin projection stone, let's see. 
I have exciting news. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive data. You know, I think... Oh, you know, I think all these stones we've read. So we have this. We have the Brittle Hollow one. Brittle Hollow to Ash Twin. Let me see. I have good news. The Advanced Warp Core is ready to be installed at the heart of Ash Twin Project. Actually, I haven't read this. Um, I'm intrigued, my love. Everyone on Ash Twin is excited to see it. Pi is besides herself. Uh, uh, Pi, Pi is beside herself with joy. Um, no, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. <laughs> Don't worry, love. Poke is only nervous. The core is extraordinary. Her design work is beautifully clever. Clever. Okay. Um, let's do Timber Hearth as well. We have not done a Timber Hearth projection stone, I believe. The only one we read was the probe tracking module, I think. My gratitude for the last, uh, for the uh, latest shipment. Oweno. Oweno? Who the fuck is Oweno? Uh, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. Wait. My gratitude for the latest shipment, Oweno. This ore. So they use timber hearth. Okay. Uh, once the shell seals off the core, to ensure that there's no longer any physical entrances, Rami and I will be checking the interior. And then the exterior for cracks, our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes to final, for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'll be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. Uh, the more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw in opening in the shell that protects the core would lead to a disaster. So, we're in the core of Ashton right now. This is the center of the planet. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? Because, like, if they if they were expecting to fucking prompt a supernova to make everything go batshit, you know, and then for it to explode, then you would have to protect the Ash Twin Project or else it can't send information back in time, right? At least I would think so. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, um, it appears, oh, oh, so that, that ring, that's also very clever, that's also very clever, uh, fucking Nomai, so, they have artificial gravity being generated in the core just because it's spinning, like, the, just because the centrifugal force, they're able to keep you on the ground, well, let me tell you, I don't like to be, bam, there we go, <laughs> okay, um, what is next? Um, yeah, we already put stuff into that. Okay. Ooh, well, I'd like to see what the Timber Hearth projection stone means. Uh, what's up with Timber Hearth, right? Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's uh, slap this in here, because I didn't actually know there was uh, no my runes on Timber Hearth. We will put this here. All right, where are you going to take us? Okay. Um, this information helps. It doesn't, it doesn't help whatsoever. Okay. All right. I, I'm sure we'll find out one day. Um, let's take a look. Uh, no, we just read that. We got to hurry. The time loop's about the time loop. Um, if I do say so myself, if you get, if you, if you get what I'm saying. All right. So what do we need to do here? I see glowy balls. Glowy ball. Bada bing. Okay. Um. You are about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. Does that mean I'll get out of the time loop if I if I disable it? Um. Artificial gravity control. Yeet. <laughs> needs gravity anyways, right? Oh, there it is. Alright, let's, let's put the ball up there. Ah. Okay, well. I mean, so it's like two black holes. Yeah, so, 
since there is, since there, well, there's a, there's not two black holes. One's a white hole, one's a black hole. And just like, just like the white hole on the map, right? Just like the white hole on the map. Oh God, we're getting close to end of the loop. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm still speculating, but just like this white hole and the black hole in Brutal Hollow, that sends you back very slightly. And all the warp towers, I noticed too. While, like while we were warping to other planets, um, all the warp towers were also. Uh, sending us back well sending us through the towers slightly before we ever went through if that makes sense like yeah so if I uh, remove warp core should I have done that it, it went quiet I don't like this put it back can I put it back put it back put it back put it back Put it back. Put it back. Oh, God. Put it back. I don't like it. There's the music again. Okay. <laughs> and for some reason... Wait, is this is this starting the gravity control? Like, is artificial gravity starting again? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So, cool. We discovered why we're in the time loop. And we discovered how. Now we discovered... So... so now what my thoughts are, like, what my two cents, okay? My two cents are, we need to find out, like, where the, like, how to get to the eye of the universe. Because, like, we have coordinates. So, how do we get to the eye of the universe? And why did the Nomai want to go to the eye of the universe? Like, what was so special about it that made them want to do all of that bullshit, you know? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, very unprofessional, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on, I have to pause the recording. So, while we're waiting for Jay to finish his phone call, how's your day, beautiful? Oh, it's doing good. Ooh, look at those planets speeding around. Oh, look at that. Interloper almost hit the bramble. Ooh, look at that. It's about to hit Giant Steve. Ha, <laughs> psych. You thought? Oh, but it's zooming. Look at that interloper. Look at it go. Hey, Jay, are you gonna get done with your phone call? You know, time's kind of zooming by. Oh, look, see, the interloper just got quickscoped by the sun. Come on, Jay. Get off the phone. What are you doing, man? Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Okay, hey, hello? Ah, uh, uh, sorry about that, guys. I, it was an important phone call. I, I, I couldn't I couldn't miss this phone call. Um, so, we are already about to supernova, so... I, I'm kind of curious as to what happens if we're inside of the Ash Twin Project during the supernova. Uh... Because if it does have this shell around it, and the Nomai were so curious as to protect us, you know, like they, they were so, uh, like they wanted to protect it, that, that's why they were like inspecting for cracks and stuff. So they, they went through such lengths, right, to try to make sure that Supernova doesn't get in, then maybe we'll be safe. Maybe we could survive the Supernova in here. Who knows, you know? Warp core, huh? It's weird because, like, if the bigger black holes don't send you back in time further, I don't get why the smaller ones would. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just stupid or something. But I don't know. These do look pretty cool, though. These do look pretty cool. It's like stuff irradiating out of that one but if this these if that one's sucking in matter and that one's spitting out matter you would think that like they're not actually doing anything that what the but yeah it's like if, if one is how do we die is that just what happens if you're inside the core you just get sent back immediately that kind of sucks okay well but yeah, like if, because the, the core was like sealed off. So you'd think like all the air inside of one would be sent to the other one. And in the other one, the glass would explode from the outside. But hey, maybe maybe there isn't air. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what the particles are. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I think I'm overthinking it. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking it. Okay, well. um, I, I don't, I'm not really certain. Let's check our ship log. Okay, let's check let's check the ship log one more time. Huh. 
We could go to the interloper, because they're like, hey, let's go to that comet. Uh, or we could go back to the, or we could go back to that creepy ass moon. We go back to the moon, uh, things could happen, right? Go to the suit, ship log. Yeah, let's check, Ashwin project. Boom. Hollowed out chamber inside Ashwin. The energy, uh, I don't need to read through all this, do I? If you want to read through all of it, you can. I I'm not going to read through all the stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me say, where do we want to go? Uh, you know what? Oh, let's explore Timber Hearth. Because uh, I saw stuff on... Uh, yeah, we haven't explored Timber Hearth yet. It it's, it's, it's been... Uh, this is, what, episode 7? And we still haven't explored Timber Hearth? Like, there's a giant mountain, I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, there is. Here it is. Okay. Spewing water into space. Ah, yeah, there's a platform down there. Okay. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet that this leads to that thing that we saw. That the thing in the projection pool, right? It's very convenient that a platform's here. I don't think I need a suit if this is Timber Hearth, right? Oh, there's a there's a door. Mining site 2B. <laughs> Just knock the rocks over. This is cool, I guess. Oh, look at that. More dead nomai. You gotta love it. You gotta love seeing dead nomai bones all over the place. Yes, this was. This is the place. Okay. Oh, fuck. Where are we? We just got pushed into the water. Let's go up there. I can't see anything. Whoa. Alright. Hmm. Oh. Notice though that the ore does have the sparkle. You know, it has the sparkling effect like uh, the Ash Twin project does. So yeah, this is where they got the stuff to make Ash Twin. I wonder what kind of metal that is. Like if it's iron or something like that. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, 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 we know. Oh, we know. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ashwin project requires. Isn't the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ashwin? Uh, they, they've completed the towers I've seen are quite large. Um, no, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ashwin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft the immensely thick protective shell, which will physically seal off the Ashwin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use the Timberhurst ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy, I'm confident that we won't have destroyed their ability to create. You know what? You're right, or else I'd never be reading this right now. Okay. Um, if there's if they sealed off all interests, I hope that they've planned accordingly. <laughs> oh man, Syad, you're such a yuckle. You're such a you're such a barrel of laughs. Uh, I thought you had a forbidden ear princess for making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? <laughs> just tables I wonder what the Nomai ate you know like if, what, what kind of food they they took in Ashwin projection stone uh, we don't need to see that we know what it looks like in there um, my gratitude for the latest shipment um, we have exciting news an extra set of eyes We've already seen this. We've already seen this. Okay. Um, is this all that there is to explore here? Oh, there's lights down there. Okay. What? Huh. What? Huh. And whoa. Uh, okay. Let's check out where this hallway goes. Oh, it just goes. Uh, it's just back up. Okay. All right. Well. That wasn't much to explore, but I guess that kind of shows like what what, what was going down. They, they were mining the ore from here. Oh. Why, did, why was it all foggy? Okay, that's weird. Alright, onwards to adventure. 
We shall explore more of Timber. Actually, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. We won't die if we jump down there, right? Only one way to find out, I guess, huh? Whoa! Oh, oh shoot! I was right! Yeah, because I was like, if there's water being shot up, right? There's probably... But also... No way. No way! That's so cool! No way! So they know my... Oh, oh, no way. Hold on. Let's read this. After close observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in some of the cave pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one uh, of the other sites. Okay. There are a few other uh, cave sites that look promising. What about 2B? Share similar formations and strata. Okay. Uh, this sounds promising. Will you and your mentor investigate? If mining site 2B proves safe for this native species, we'll move our work there. 2B is safe. Coleus says we'll continue to monitor the activity and its effect on life here. On the opposite hand, new life! This species is semi-aquatic and very hardy. The ecosystem here is quite robust, and I believe they'll thrive in the, wrong, in the long run. Be cautious near the pools if you visit 2A to meet them. Oh my god. <laughs> they remind me of the subterranean species that our mentor Mlore once told me about, from when our clan used to travel across this universe. I imagine she would have enjoyed these life forms greatly. I was watching them once in arrest, and the hours escaped from them. They're fascinating. I wonder what the fourth eye does. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. So the Nomai did know about our existence. It's just that we were literally fucking fish in a pond when they when they came across us. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so adorable. We, we were like fish with legs. We, we were like little lizards. All, all scared of, of these giant, terrifying, masked people. Oh, that, that's that's adorable. Um, is this it for this cave? Oh, there's, there's an area over there we could go to. Let's check it out. Oh, it pushes away. Uh, what about our probe? Is, Probe, do you detect anything else we should go to here? Oh shit! Yes it does! Onwards! And away! After the probe. Oh, what am I getting myself into? The flashlight. I'm sorry if you can't see. I can't see any more than you can right now. Alright. Whoa. There's a bunch of stuff all over the floor. I guess that's cool. No. What does this lead to? Oh my god! This is right next to the village! Okay. Oh shit! Land in the hole! Don't- Oh god! Oh, oh, I almost broke my legs. I almost snapped them right on off. Okay. Let's be a little bit more cautious next time we go in one of those. If there is next time. Alright, that pushed the scout away. Alright, Scout, just provide some light. Please, just provide light. I, I, it's hard. It's so hard to see in some places of this game. Where does that go? Onwards to adventure! <laughs> Looks like we're exploring two cores this game. We're exploring Ash Twin and Timberhood. Isn't that nice? Oh, no. Oh, no. We're getting... Oh. I only caught it, like, midstream. So it's okay. Let's go down. Back to adventure! Call the scout. Okay. I can't see diddly shit. Where does this lead? Whoa! Oh, oh shoot, we don't know what this place is. Here, hold on, hold on. Let's stick the landing. <gasps> okay, we did it. Pro skills. This place looks... Oh... Oh, oh, there's one of you. I don't like you. Yeah, that's right. You can't move if the probe is on you. I stand corrected. Um, There, there. Now there's a slight picture of it. So now it can't really move. What's this say? 
It's always dark, the quiet shade, in the ancient glade across old bark. Why is that there? Excuse me! Oh my god. It, oh, right, because everything around these fucking quantum rocks gets gets all quantum, quantum messed up. Okay. Does that just continuously spurt water? It looks like it does. Oh. It also appears it, the, the, the geyser moves too. Uh, if that wasn't enough. Okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's get out of here. I don't like, I don't like the fucking... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I have to... Come on. Come on. What's this called? Grove Shard. Okay. Just making sure, just making sure, because people keep saying, Jay, you have to scan the shard. So I, I scan the shard. There it is. Alright. Well, I suppose we should try to get back to our ship. Maybe. Will we even make it back to our ship? I don't know. Ooh! Ooh, let's go up there. Let's go up there. Let's check it out. Let's check it out real good. Let's see how far we are in the cycle right now. Alright, uh... The orbit of the comet has not overlapped yet. Oh! Shiza, I fell. Okay. It's alright. It's alright. I never said I was a parkour expert. I never said I was smart. Okay. Speaking of not smart, parkour. I'm an expert at parkour. D did you just see that jump? I'm an expert at parkour. I have achieved parkour. Okay. Uh, watch there be nothing up at this tower. Watch this be a complete waste of time. Oh, there is. There's something. Hey! Hey! Get out of here! That's right. <laughs> Alright, Chert's research notes. Property of Chert. I've detected strange signal coming from somewhere uh, within the Grove's crater. This is similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason that the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing that no one's ever been able to land on it, but hopefully studying the signal in the Grove will reveal more about it. Okay, so... There's that. Ah, you're right, the quantum moon does give off the same spooky shit. And now that that thing, now that I've learned that that thing actually makes noise, it just becomes, ow, oh, fuck, it becomes that much more terrifying. Because it's like that, like, the, it's like, you wouldn't expect something like that to make noise, but the noise it does make is just, oh. Alright, so, we should be able to get back to our ship by scaling this mountain. Will I have enough fuel to scale the mountain, though? That is the real question. Uh, I think I will. But if I don't, then... I don't know what to do. Oh, look, there's a comet. We need to explore that. You know, next episode, we're gonna explore that. That doesn't look like there's much to explore, though. I mean, it's just a comet. But... Up, 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 steady, 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 steady! Oh my god, I keep, I keep busting my legs. It's okay, though. You know, at least we could breathe on this planet. Maybe not underwater, but at least we could breathe. Alright, so I believe we explored a sufficient amount. Um, why don't we go to the moon now? Um, because I, I don't think we fully explored the moon either. I'm, I'm just trying to check my bases here, because I want to see more. I love this game so much. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm so big balls. I, I could land on the moon without autopilot. I could land on the moon without anything. Uh. Okay. Um, right here. Yeah, this is what I meant. Because I saw this as I was flying around in a previous episode. When I mean I saw this in a previous episode, I didn't actually see it. I didn't register. I saw it while I was watching a previous episode. Because, yes, I do watch my own content just to, like, see what's up. Uh, and this is why I'm probably solving a lot of stuff, because people keep saying, hey, you're doing this fast, or hey, you're solving this fast, but it's really just because, like, I rewatch my recordings, and then I think about, like, what I should do for a very long time, so then I don't waste your time, but even though I still am like, hey, oh, what should we do? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's, this is sinking to Brittle Hollow. That gives off the black hole sound, okay? This is Giant's Deep. Where's Giant's Deep? It's right there. Okay. Ah, Giant's Deep sounds like that. Okay. 
Uh, what about this? What is that? Does that stand for the sun? Yeah, it stands for the sun. Quantum moon, get out of here! Thank you very much. Yep, and that sounds like the sun. Okay. Ah, and now the eye of the universe. Okay, let's 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 see what the eye of the universe sounds like. Huh. I can now see why they needed to build the observatory. Because the eye of the universe keeps pulling a quantum moon and shifting around all over the place. Alright. Okay, alright. You could, uh, you could stop now. You, it's alright. You could stop. Is there anything else to explore here? Oh, there's steps. There is... Steps. Here we go. Coleus. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I could, uh, I... And it can hear and follow the signals form the sun giants deep in brittle hollow. Um, however, this something strange happens when uh, I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the loca locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is all correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to pause at this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. Then it, uh, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Kasava. Our search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. Uh, this is uh, the current result. It is possible the Eye has stopped calling out its signal. Okay, well... Uh, maybe it is possible. Oh! Oh, there's more to read. Okay. Pick up scroll. Put the scroll. Thatch. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than the eye signal locator is. Anona and us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a, a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I want to recommend building on that planet. A quantum moon locator. Okay. Um, the southern glacier of Brittle Hollow has ample and available space. It should construct a new building to house its proposed locator. Uh, yes, let's build there. I imagine a very young friend, Kano, would enjoy that immensely. He has always held great interest for the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. After the crash. Okay. Um, it will begin the construction on the Brittle Hollow's Pole South Pole immediately. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this. Okay. Wow. Wow. I've seen this rune in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, is it really? It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, uh, but from what little I could understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also trying to translate something uh, about the South Pole on Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Uh, yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. <laughs> Alright, so that's definitely Ryback who wrote that. So Ryback went to the moon first. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense for Ryback because, you know, he's Ryback and he's scared of everything. Uh, I don't... Uh, I want to go back, um, uh, just so we could find... Uh, I want to piece together the information just a little bit more. Uh, let's go back to the Ash Twin and go back into the core. Don't crash into the sun. Don't crash into the sun. Hold on. We're going to have to go around the sun just a little bit. Because these two planets are rotating around at weird paces. Oh, don't get too close. Don't get too close. Yep. Don't get too close to the sun. Dying is not on my list of things that I want to do right now. Alright, Ash Twin. Prepare to be... Prepare to get... Prepare to get... Uh, I don't know. Prepare to, prepare to get gotten. Yeah, we're later in the loop right now. It looks like uh, everything's mostly uncovered. Mostly, for the most part. Okay. Alright. Now we just boost towards the planet and don't overshoot and crash into the sun. 
This is super scary. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. Oh, jeez. I thought I was going to wreck my ship right there. Okay. Ash Twin Project. Here we come. But a being. I just want to find out more. Um, so we'll go back to that board. Uh, first, we need to wait for the other planet to go above us, though, so... There's that. It's coming, though. It's coming. Okay. Almost there. Oh, we might we might lose our ship here, but you know it's towards the end of the loop, so it's fine. Uh, well, there, there's still there's still a lot more we could do in future episodes, I believe. Come on, ship. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye, ship. I love you. I hope you have a good time, ship. Okay, let's go down. The projector. All right. So now let's go back over to the uh, to the wall. We can just check up on what we're doing. Uh, 17 minutes 43 seconds ago. Okay, probe check. Five minutes until the end of the cycle. Okay. What? Who the fuck are you? Excuse me. Talk to self. Whoa. Um. Um. What the heck happened? If you're, if you're me, then I'm as confused as you are. Do you think we have the same memories? Good question. Let's see. What? What? Do you think it's okay if there's two of us? Well, we're talking to each other and nothing's exploded yet. Um, maybe the universe doesn't mind two of us. Hopefully not. Besides, an extra version of us is definitely better than if we created an extra anglerfish or something. I agree. That probably counts for something. <laughs> ah! What have we done? Jumping to the black hole? That was a terrible idea. Ah! <laughs> I just... Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like how he starts how he starts flipping out. Oh god, oh god, I've sent him into a comatose state. He, he's, he's he's just losing it. He's losing it. Why is there two of us though? What? <laughs> this is so confusing. This got weird in a hurry. Yeah, duplicating living beings probably wasn't what the Nomai had in mind when they built the Ashwin project. Um I wonder if this screws anything else. Uh Gosan always says that it means the date's going well. <laughs> Yeah, but Slate's definition is a boring date. Makes sense. Gosan and Slate never dated. That's the whole mishap with Gosan's eye. Oh, oof. <laughs> yes, the eye thing. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Wow. We. So this is us. This is what we look like. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna do something really cool. Okay. Boop. And then. Hey, selfie with myself. Oh. Oh, you can see the scout rotating. Oh, look at that. Selfie. I just took a selfie with myself. Oh, my God. That's so cool. That's so cool. Oh, that, but I, I seem taller than myself. I, I'm going to be honest. Uh, my, my other self is pretty short, if I, if, I, if I don't mind saying. Look at this. This is so cool. Looks, wow, that jetpack looks really big, too. Like, you, you have a blanket on you. Is it really necessary to have, like, this, this sleeping bag carrying that around? It seems a little top-heavy, don't you think? All right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got to get out of here. We can't, we can't, um, we have to get out of here or else we're going to get, um, we're going to get black hole again. We don't want that. Okay, we're out. We're out. All right, so we shouldn't get black hole this time, which is nice. Um, Shit. Uh, let's get away from the supernova too, because I don't think. Oh, or 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 we could go to Ember Twin. We could go to Ember Twin. Oh, please, please, let's go to Ember Twin and get their ship. Uh, or, or, I don't even think we could do that though. I don't even think we could do that. Uh, we can. Fuck out. Um, we could go up here. Hey, we could go back to Timber Hearth if we so please. I don't know. 
It's whatever, we're about to die. You know, maybe we should take a look at the supernova from a map, from like the map's perspective. We take a look at it from the map, then uh, I guess it would look cool, huh? Do you can go all the way into the sun? That's pretty cool. All right, time for you to explode, Mr. Sun. Oh, here it goes. Bam. That looks so cool. Oh my god. I like how it's in real time on the map as well. That it's just like that. What? Um. What? You destroyed the fabric of space time. You've met a terrible fate. No going back. Um. What? I don't understand. Wait. Uh, what? Is what are we not going to reloop? Oh my god. Oh, you, hold on. This is stupid. This is stupid. The, the, the game ended. That, what? Did I get the bad ending? What did I do to get the bad ending? Was it because I went to Ash Twin? What? No. No. Oh, come on. Really? All right, guys. Well, can, can we continue? Load previous save. Okay, we can. Alright, I didn't fuck things up royally. So, let me wrap my head around this real quick. So, it had to have, it had to have been with what we did on Ashwin. So, we went into the black hole. We went into the black hole at the Ashwin project. And then we, we woke up at the next loop. <gasps> oh! Oh no, no, kind of... I'm, I'm thinking it's because, like, we still got the memories sent back to us in time, right? But at the same time, our past, our, our future selves went back in time because of the black hole. So our memories and our physical body got sent back in time, right? So that's what made two of us. So that, that was me from the previous loop when I actually got caught inside that black hole. And then... I'm guessing since I didn't go back into the black hole... It created some sort of fucking paradox or something. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have a better explanation, leave it in the comments. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is Jay. And I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.